Number 51. The Kilauea volcano in Hawaii is the world's most active, disgorging about 5 times 10 to the 5 cubic meters of 1,200 degrees Celsius lava per day. What is the rate of heat transfer out of Earth by convection if this lava has a density of 2,700 kilogram per cubic meter and eventually cools to 30 degrees Celsius? Assume the specific heat is that of granite. Okay, so we have to find the rate of heat transfer. Now, and let me highlight that, rate of heat transfer. Now, they didn't really tell us how they want those units, rate of heat transfer. Basically, they just want it uh, as a value of Q per time. I don't know if they want the time per second or per minute or per day. I don't know. But what I'm going to do um, is I'm just going to, they tell us the amount of lava per day. So basically, everything I'm going to calculate is going to be per day or daily values. And that's how I'm going to leave the answer. If you have to then convert that into seconds, you can obviously do so. Um, uh, okay, so anyway, uh, it's disgorging about this volume of lava. They told us the density of lava. So we know that, let me just erase this for now. We know that to find, we know that density is equal to mass divided by volume. Mass is really what we need here. So that's simply the density of something multiplied by its volume. You have to make sure the units are consistent. And the density they told us is kilogram per cubic meter. So that's 2,700. The volume then was going to be also in cubic meters, which is great. So that's five times, that's going to be five times 10 to the fifth. So we know those units are going to cancel. And it's going to leave us with kilograms. So let's just find that out. So 2,700 multiplied by five times 10 to the fifth. And we realize that this is a tremendously large number. So this is 1.35. Why didn't it convert it to scientific for me? Now i got to count all the spaces. Three, six, Hopefully that's nine. So that looks like about 1.35 billion. And that looks appropriate. And that's going to be in kilograms. Okay, this is, remember, the mass per day. All right? So let's find out then the uh, heat transfer. Now we're basically using the simple formula over here. Q is equal to mc delta T. So we're trying to find the Q, right? We're going to use the daily mass. So this is 1.35 times 10 times 10 to the ninth. The specific heat they said is that of granite, so that's 840. you got to look that up. And the change in temperature is going to be now 30 degrees Celsius. So we can simply just solve this now. So multiply by 840 times in 30. And we get now 3.4, 3.4, uh, 0 if you want. I don't know, 3 sig fix, 2 sig fix, whatever. It doesn't matter. 3.4 times 10 to the 13th. That is joules, right? Now remember... I calculated, I used the daily mass, so therefore this is the daily energy, all right? And this would be then a rate, 3.4 times 10 to the 13th, joules per day. If you needed that per second, you can simply then set up your conversion, right? That should be simple at this point. All right, so guys, thanks so much for tuning in. Appreciate it very much. Please remember to subscribe, and we'll see you next time.